What's up guys, I'm Rissim from Rossberry Tech. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm working on a, on a new project with the Raspberry Pi. That's the Raspberry Pi there. And as you can see on this table, I have a bunch of different components. And it's a breadboard. We got a Raspberry Pi 4. We got a LED matrix right there. We got a couple of bunch of switches, some buttons, and this door lock relay, or this door lock, sorry. That's a relay that uh, switches the store lock on. And I'm using, again, Raspberry Pi here. This is the program I'm using. Uh, I believe this is called, uh, what's the name of this program? It's Thani or Thrani, whatever it's called. And I'm using this to uh, program Raspberry Pi. This is the code right there, the Python code, to get this thing to work. And I'll show you how it works right now. Uh, that's a four, four by, I think a four LED matrix. I'll leave a link in the description to all these parts. But I have these switches right here. As I switch them or I flip them, they're either gonna be a zero or a one. Now, if you guys probably tell that's a binary number. So this lock I'm creating is going to be a binary code that you have to solve. Once you figure out the code and you hit this button right here, it's going to unlock this here. This is a magnetic lock and it's connected to a relay which is connected to the Raspberry Pi. It's a 12 volt relay. This is the breadboard here. It's pretty, pretty intense. It's got a lot of stuff going on. It took me a while to get this to where it's at right now with the programming. It took me a good couple of weeks just to just of, of my free time just to get this to this point. And if you guys are wondering, this is like one of the coolest things that I discovered. Adafruit sells this thing right here. I don't know what you call it, but I'll leave a link in the description. What it does is it's uh, the Raspberry Pi has a 40 pin GPIO header, right? It uses a ribbon, it connects to the, the Raspberry Pi and it outputs this part right here, which connects, which has pins and it connects to a breadboard and, and, and it's labeled with all the GPIO uh, numbers and everything. So you can easily connect things to the, uh, the Raspberry Pi using the breadboard and everything's organized and it's pretty cool, I love it. So I bought a bunch of these, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Pretty cool. These are just ordinary switches, relays. Yeah, so this is gonna be an escape room uh, uh, module. And I'm gonna build a bunch of modules because I'm building a escape room, uh, what do you call that, uh, briefcase. A, a escape room in a briefcase, one of those things you guys probably seen online. I thought it was cool. Now, most people are using like uh, Andorinos or Arduinos, I'm sorry, to get this to work. And I have a bunch of Arduinos. The guys, um, let me sh just show you guys, turn this around here. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Tools and stuff. I got these freaking uh, racks. Well, th these storage bins with just everything you could think of. I have uh, three of them right now. And I got like Arduinos and Raspberry Pis. I got the Arduino Unos, the Mega, the, the every Arduino you could think of. And the Minis, whatever. I got all the Raspberry Pis you could think of in, in this drawer here and like LED lights and all that stuff. And let me show you down here. This is the briefcase that I'm gonna be using. And really cool metal briefcase. That right there is my <laughs> Bafang uh, motor that I'm gonna be upgrading. I have an electric bike that I, that I want to upgrade with um, a 750 watt buffing motor. This here, this is my attachments for my, um, I'll show you right, right now. I have a bunch of different things right this side. Now on this side, I have, this is the Prusa i3, my 3D printer. I love this 3D printer. And this here is a Snapmaker 2.0. Very cool. This here is a, a three in one. It's a laser engraver and cutter, CNC machine, and a 3D printer in one. I, I use uh, Fusion 360 and I design parts and I either cut them using the uh, CNC machine or the laser uh, engraver or cutter or I, I just 3D print them here first. Then I test them out. So pretty cool. This here is my electric bike. This is a Rad Rover. And don't mind the closet there. It's just filled with a lot of electronics. Uh, this is a Rad Rover 5, the newest model, the 2020 model, the black. And right now I upgraded the controller. As you can see, that's the controller right there. And I am upgrading that motor with a, uh, with a true 750. And that's that part, yeah. My, my uh, 
office here. It's, it's getting cool. <laughs> I have pretty much everything you need for electronics and building stuff, including microscope and soldering stations, hot air stations, everything you could think of right here. And I'm excited for this build. If you guys, uh, if you, if you guys want to follow along with what's going on, if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, there's gonna be plenty more videos. This is just video one, showing you guys my the project that I'm working on. And I'm going to uh, make videos after, after every development, like when I design the case, uh, the 3D printing, the CNCing, the putting everything together. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a playlist and just uh, put that all in that playlist. So this is pretty much it. If you guys like this, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from Rossmartic, and thank you guys for watching.